So we watch now. Inga van der Heide running up through the sand. Lara Vodonskot likewise, all carrying the bike in much the same fashion. The right arm underneath the down tube and on the front wheel. It looks like Bakker is in a slightly lighter gear this time as well as she also pulls herself along the barrier, looking a bit happier with that too as well. Our leading four riders are all dismounting and starting to run in the same place, managing to just scoot their way along on the barrier there before the turn, dismounting before the turn, so they're not losing speed in the turn where it gets steeper. The Belgian in Laura Vodonskot, who is in that leading group, and she is in a Dutch sandwich too, and uh, she won't be worried about where she's racing today, Vodonskot. She will want to get a wind chalked off in the uh, exact cross series. She overlaps. Now, do we see Salon de Carvalho Alvarado wanting to take the lead? Yes, we do. For the first time, the former world champion, the world number two, heads into the sand first, and she is laying it down. This is an attack now. Definitely, Alvarado really pushing hard to try and create some daylight, and it's doing damage to Inga van der Heide. You can see how hard they're working. This is the first decisive move from the former world champion. And now you're seeing that she has measured out this race. This is the penultimate lap. They're going to go through it here, the bell this time. And Laura Vodonsk got making a mistake as well. So the pressure being applied by Celine Del Carmen Alvarado is causing panic. A little bit of panic with those two. She sat back and watched them, using their elbows, dive bombing and ducking underneath each other, and waited for it to finish and has attacked into the sand. Let's see if she can make this stick, Alvarado, because she is, as I said at the start line, the outright favourite, the former world champion. Here we go. We're going to hear the bell this time. This is going to be the final lap, and this is it. This is full in. I think this is one of the best measured races I've seen from Celine Del Carmen Alvarado in the last couple of years for the former world champion. These two, uh, she'll be hoping that they start to try and work each other over these two, because Inga van der Heide now goes through, and Lara Verdunschgott just looking like she's working that little bit harder in that top three. Yes, we've got a difference in style between those three riders, but... Let's see what she can salvage from this. Can they get back to Alvarado? Here is Inga van der Heide trying to get rid of Lara Verdonschgott. She kicks hard up the hill into the slopey smooth bit. We're watching now the former world champion, Celine Del Carmen Alvarado, rounding in on three wins in a row. Alvarado calmly to the line with a brilliantly measured race. She is going to be a big threat for that European title in just over one week's time in Pontevedra. Mark it down because we've seen it right here. She's in great form. Inga van der Heide takes second, and the Belgian rider, Laura Verdonschgott, takes third, the first of the non-Dutch women. Two Dutch women first and second. Laura Verdonschgott, after a brilliant race where she started so well, hanging on for third and looking like she's just suffered a little bit over those last few laps of this six-lap race. Didn't make that look particularly difficult, did she? Even when she washed out with the front wheel, she was running brilliantly. She looked so snappy and quick on that final lap, running through the sand. Uh, best rider in the race, she's a world number two. You'd expect that, wouldn't you? Manon Bakker in for fourth, having been right up there with Celine Del Carmen, uh, Alvarado and others early on, following Inge van der Heide early on, the two uh, Corindon, Krellen, Corindon riders. Another Dutch woman through in fourth. Fifth place should be a fantastic ride by the 19-year-old Neta Coppens, the Belgian rider. Let's see where she is. A dominant win by Celine Del Carmen Alvarado, but I think quite a calm one as well with a week to go to those Europeans. Ooh, I want to know what's in that big shopping bag. Barbecuing uh, equipment, presumably. Alvarado on the top step. As you'd have expected her to be, she was the highest ranked rider coming into the race in incredibly good form. Fist bumps all round. And a fantastic racing podium as well. Those three entertained us, didn't they? That's for sure. I haven't yet seen the start list for Overreiser and the Super Prestige Telenet tomorrow, but my suspicion is all three of them will be racing. There's no point in not racing, having raced on the Saturday. There will just be a clique of riders who haven't raced today who look to try and use that to their advantage tomorrow. We'll see how that works out for them, won't we?